Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I was recently scammed and let me tell you what, I haven't been scammed in five years and the last time I was scammed it was by a loyal fan and this current scamming situation is by a loyal fan as well. So I talked about this a little bit in my last night's live which is the pinned comment in the comment area of this video if you'd like a lot more of this discussion. But I'm just going to share briefly with you guys her uh, social media so you guys can avoid her at all costs. Just a quick rundown. This woman during a live back on October 22nd really wanted a doll I had started. And I said, sure, I'll sell it to her. So on October 23rd, she paid for this baby. And yesterday or sometime in the last 24, 48 hours, she opened fraudulent claims with PayPal. So, uh, yesterday morning, which is still currently today, which is November 9th, I woke up to a almost $700 negative PayPal account. And her claiming she's been hacked, she doesn't know what's going on, and she didn't do this. But PayPal, thankfully, sends me an email letting me know exactly what this buyer has done. And they have opened up fraudulent claims against me. Which, thank goodness, I have a bunch of emails with her, so I just submitted that to PayPal. In hopes they will give me my money back. Well, it's actually set my account back to a positive state because there was no money in there. That's why it's negative, almost $700. Before we get into the details though, we're gonna go over a little bit more details. Um, make sure to like this video, comment down below. Have you ever been scammed? If so, let me know. My 11 years in this community, I have been scammed. This is probably like my fifth time. And like I said, the last time was five years ago. So here is her social media information. This is the person that scammed me, is opening up a fraud claim against PayPal, and um, has left my account in almost negative of $700. But I'm just really hopeful that PayPal will see all the proof that I have that there was no fraudulent transactions, and they'll put my PayPal back to good standing because um, I use my PayPal day in and day out, and with a negative balance, it's not really cool when you're living cell to cell. So that's basically all I want to say about that. If you want to hear more about it, like I said, you can click the pinned comment in the comment area of this video to watch the live from uh, last night where I went into further details and talked a little bit more about this situation. We're going to be putting Little Miss Pepper Ann into some PJs because it is currently still nighttime here. But before that, I have a haul I want to show you guys. And not yesterday's video, but the day before... No, it was yesterday. I went thrifting. I did actually pick up some items and I didn't share them with you. So let's check them out. So here's what I got. It's got some, I got some Christmas stuff. So for the babies, I love to get holiday stuff at the thrift store because it's either been worn just once or not worn at all. So I got this little onesie. It says eat, sleep, and be merry. For only 99 cents. That's why I like to go to the thrift store for the holiday stuff. It's hardly worn and it's always pretty cheap. Then I got this super cute Carter's candy cane, a uh, heather gray onesie, and it's got candy canes all over it for 99 cents. Next, I actually found a brand new dress from Pat Pat. Super cute little Santa dress. It's kind of like, feels, um, almost, I don't know what this material is, but it's really cool and it's got tool skirt and it was actually half off, so that was pretty cool. Then I got this Cat and Jack sweater romper newborn size and it was 99 cents as well then i picked up these lights which you saw in the video from yesterday they worked they were 4.99 then last but not least is this vintage tree topper 3.99 and it worked as well so i'm excited about using that when i get a tree one thing about the scammer issue there is nothing wrong with outing a scammer because you need to protect your fellow sellers because we're all just small businesses and everybody is struggling to survive. And the last thing you want to wake up to is a negative bank account like I did. PayPal account because it's no fun. It ruined my entire day. So we got baby Pepper ready to change. We got her a new diaper to put on. And she's dressed up in her dress up Thursday outfit because it's still Thursday here. Which at the end of this video you're going to see everybody else's babies dressed up in their dress up Thursday outfit that shared them. They're so cute. And since it's still Thursday while I'm recording this, the theme is still teddy bear, so we're gonna put this cute teddy bear neck sleeper on her. So Pepper is currently the only silicone I have in my collection, but if you guys didn't know, I am making a silicone to add to my collection 
If you're a member here on the YouTube channel, that's where you pay an extra a monthly fee. You can see the silicone I am working on for myself because I have shared her with the members. And she is super cute. Now this baby, her pants are a little big because they're zero to three month size. And she does wear um, newborn size, but they matched her top so well. So I put them on her. Yes, we did. So let's go ahead and get her diaper changed. We're first going to put a nice clean diaper under her so she doesn't pee anywhere. We don't want no accidents happening. We got our wipes here in case she's got a loaded diaper. We are ready and prepared. All right, let's get her changed. Oh my goodness. What kind of baby food have you been eating? Oh, looks like green beans. Wow. What a mess we have going on here. I go ahead and get her wiped up. <laughs> These silicones and the baby food. Oh man, it reminds me so much of cleaning a real baby's butt. Just minus the smell. Oh goodness, thank goodness that's such an easy cleanup. All right, let's get her diaper on her. Girl, you gotta stop eating so much. That was not a pleasant diaper. So it's Friday. Does anybody have any weekend plans? If you don't have any, that's fine. Don't feel bad. I'm gonna be working, trying to get, um, I have two dolls where their hair is like halfway done at this moment, but once I'm done recording this video, I will be working on them. So I'm hoping to have two more babies listed and available on the website. There's currently one super cute sleeping baby and the baby can come home as a girl. So if you don't want it as a boy, just let me know. This girl moves around like a, like a wet spaghetti noodle. Like a little wet spaghetti noodle. Oh my goodness. She is so cute. I know a lot of you have your own version of Pepper. Comment and let us know what you named your um, your baby. Because I'm sure you all don't call her Pepper. I'm sure you guys have your own name for her. Some people have a boy version of this one. And he's so cute too. Um, it would be kind of fun to have twins. I'm probably going to re-get her kit and paint her because I have really stepped up my silicone painting game. In case some of you didn't know, I used to actually make prototypes for silicones and um, they were really nice. But I'll tell you what, my painting now is even better because I have learned to manage the paint a whole lot better. And um, I cannot wait for you guys to see my new silicone baby. I think it's absolutely adorable. I don't know what we're going to name her yet, but I have asked for suggestions from the YouTube members and they have suggested some really cute names for her. We're just going to put back on her little headband. I know we're supposed to do a rooted poof on her. I know, I know. But uh, if I paint her again, we might just want to wait till then. But who knows if I get some blonde hair before then, we'll definitely be giving <laughs> Pepper a rooted poof. Pepper, you just move so funny. Yes, you do. You're such a little wet, wet noodle. Look at you. You're so cute. Just a reminder, if you use the code In Love with Reborns in all capital letters when ordering off of Paradise Galleries, any full priced doll, you will get 15% off your order by using that code. And this is Hello World. She is a super cool full body vinyl she can take a bath i was told so we expect a bath video coming soon because i want to check that out apparently she will not get any water in her body which is totally awesome she's 59.99 and if you use the code in love with reborns all capital letters you will get 15 percent off of her total which makes her really cheap because i think she's really cheap in general Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now stay tuned for all the photos that were submitted for Dress Up Thursday. Again, thank you so much for participating. And I look forward to seeing your guys' photos next week. Bye!